Captain Ronnie Bell. Uh, Ronnie, thanks for joining us. And after four weeks of the college football season, you guys are 4 0. Where do you think this offense is right now? What's going on? Um, I definitely think the offense is uh, trending up. Um, definitely uh, just working towards uh, just more execution. You know what I mean? Uh, last week, definitely played uh, a little bit of sloppy football in the first half. And, uh, Definitely feels good to uh, be on the winning side of things when you have things to correct as well. As a captain, when things are, as you mentioned, sloppy football, what's the conversation? What do you do on the sidelines? How do you get? Are, are you a guy that tries to get everybody refocused? What What's your mo on the sidelines as a captain? Um, I think my mo this, in this past week was definitely just uh, kind of communicating to the guys. Um, you know, Big Ten football and, the, you know what I'm saying, uh, we know what we signed up for. You know, it was our first time playing four quarters uh, throughout the season. And really, that's really what we're signed up. You know what I mean? That's, that's what this yeah. is. That's what, that's what we're about to do. And uh, so I guess that was my MO over the weekend, communicating that was just like, this is what we this is what we built for. Uh, three catches, 72 yards. Obviously, you had the one that's 49 yards, um, and it, and it broke the game open. What was – what when you got to the line of scrimmage on that play, did you know – Hey, JJ's coming to me on this one. Uh, definitely, like, lining up, looking around, I realized that uh, just with the coverage that there was a good chance it was coming. So, really, as I was lining up, I was just like, I really, really hope it's, it's yeah. coming this way. <laughs> um, JJ overthrew a couple of guys. When you guys get back in the huddle or on the sidelines or even this week at practice, how do you, what's the conversation for you guys to work on that timing and that – just the the rhythm of making sure you guys hook up on some of those because you guys were open it just was just weren't connected on right uh and that just comes with repetition and uh feel for it you know what i mean uh and I, that, that's exactly what we're going to work on throughout this week uh before after and during practice um on all those connections um making sure nine just uh like i it really i think it's just really just feeling it out you know and just feeling where to put it you know what i mean and trusting that the receiver is going to make that play What's it like with JJ on the field? It's a lot of fun. Um, and I just, you know, I just feel confident, you know what I mean, with everything we got going on. There was a play where, I mean, he's running around. It looked like he ran about 150 yards in the backfield, looking downfield as a receiver. What's it like when you're trying to track a quarterback like that and the play's going so long? I know exactly which one you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually, I was on like, I had like a field go route. And so I come running. And I think I started to run back towards like the field, going back towards where he was. And then when he came back my way, I ran back towards the sideline. And then when I kind of paused for a second because I think he started to go back the other way again. <laughs> and when I paused, I actually got pushed out of bounds. And on the film, you can see me just kind of look at JJ and like realize that at this point there was no more throwing it. And so then I just started blocking. And then he got the first down. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, no, it's definitely – it's uh, you know, it's, it's hard to find him. You know what I mean when he's back there. But uh, once you find him, yeah, it just turns into scramble drill, and you're just trying to get open. And then at the end of the day, like, just start blocking if you, you know what I mean, because <laughs> like, yeah. like eventually he's gonna run. Um, we were joined just a little bit ago by your position coach, Ron Bellamy. Um, what's it like having him in in on the offensive side of the ball this time? Uh, yeah, no, it's pretty cool um, and just uh, a lot of fun just working with him um, as a coach. Um, and uh, I think he does a good job, you know what I'm saying, with like uh, energy in the room too. He like yeah. you know, keeps us keeps us alive. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of personalities in that room. How does he handle all the personalities? I think he does a good job and he's got a personality of his own, so we all <laughs> bounce off of one another. Um, when you're – uh, obviously when you're downfield like that and you're running around, um, you mentioned blocking. On Blake Corum's first touchdown run, I know you were on the edge there. You were one of the blocks that sprung him. I believe it was you on the edge there. But we've seen that throughout the course of this these four games, running uh, wide receivers blocking downfield. How important is that for you guys? And what's the standard? Who sets the standard for that in your room? Um, I definitely I take pride in setting that standard. Um, one of the biggest things that I preach to the guys, you know, what I mean. Don't let your man get involved in the play. Don't let you let your man get involved in the tackle. Um, and I think I think that guys throughout camp and definitely throughout these four weeks, it really has been shown that like guys are taking as as much pride in blocking their man 
as I've wanted them to. So I think it's really sick and really cool that guys are doing that. What have you heard about Kinnick Stadium? Uh, electric, man. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be a tough place to play. And, uh, yeah, I, I – it, it, looking at like the pictures of it and stuff, you know yeah. what I mean. It looks looks like because nobody on the team has actually been to Kinnick Stadium yeah, to play. Yeah, I, I say I, we haven't been there as long as I've been here. So, um, and uh, yeah, no, it looks looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Have you heard anything about the locker room? Uh, they said it was all pink. <laughs> yeah, that's that's. Uh, one of, uh, I think Jay Tress was talking about it was all pink. Today. Yeah, have you ever been in a pink locker room before? Mm -mm. I think uh, Maryland is like super duper red. It's like as close as it gets. Yeah. Well, uh, when you guys face off against Iowa, what are some of the keys, not just for the offense, but for the team? Because it is a first road trip. It's a, it's an unbelievable defense um, statistically. What are some of the keys as you enter that environment? Definitely just execution, um, being who we are, and uh, you know playing the game the right way, playing the game with your hair on fire. And uh, the biggest thing is definitely just execution. And like I said, uh, us not necessarily – you know, trying to be anything special, you know, to be anything different, be who we are. Uh, before I let you go, how's the leg holding up? Is it something that you think about anymore? Nah, but I say I don't think my leg has been uh, anything to worry about since the beginning of the camp. So I've been feeling really good. That's good to hear. Good to hear. Thanks for joining us and uh, best of luck in uh, Iowa City. Go ahead. Thank you.